Sodium silicate is a very useful chemical for uh, working with forges and foundries and making up a refractory of various types. I always use sodium silicate and uh, it was a little expensive to buy locally so I've gotten into making my own which is actually quite simple. What we can see here is the two ingredients we need. On the bottom we have silica gel in the form of uh, silica gel cat litter. And on the top of the cat litter bucket I've got two examples of sodium hydroxide, also commonly known as lye. On the left I have a smaller bottle of lye crystals that are sold as a drain opener. On the right I was able to get to sodium hydroxide or lye in concentrated liquid form. It's almost as thick as a syrup. I got this from a uh, barbecue store. It's used for removing the grease and uh, carbon from barbecue grills and other barbecue parts. So that was quite handy to get. Let's take a closer look at these uh, things. Here's a closer look at the silica gel cat litter crystals. The ones that are colored blue are simply a uh, dye that I think is in there to tell you whether the cats used the litter or not. This is, of course, unused cat litter. Here's a look at the label of the silica gel cat litter. It will say on the label, silica, silica crystal, something like that. You do not want the bentonite clay-based gray-colored cat litter. You need silica crystals cat litter to make uh, sodium silicate. Let's next take a closer look at the sodium hydroxide, or lye. Here's a look at the label on my uh, liquid sodium hydroxide that I was able to get as Remove Grill Cleaner. It works well for cleaning grills, but uh, I'm going to use the rest of this gallon for making sodium silicate as I need it over time. This is another form of sodium hydroxide, or lye. This is uh, solid crystals in this uh, one pound container. These would just simply have to be dissolved into enough water to dissolve the crystals and then it can be used to make sodium silicate. With lye, I have to point out that there is uh, danger. Lye is extremely alkaline, dry, or in solution form, lye or sodium hydroxide will burn your skin and can cause severe eye burns or even blindness if a drop happens to splatter into your eyes. When you work with this, you should wear rubber gloves and have uh, safety glasses on to protect your eyes. Also, uh, it can harm some form some material, so you might want to wear uh, old clothes and make sure uh, you have long sleeves and long pants. You don't want to get any sodium hydroxide or lye, dry or in solution form, on you, period. Be very careful with lye. Treat it with respect. I'm going to make the sodium silicate in this uh, 500 milliliter beaker. I'm going to heat it on this uh, old two-burner uh, shop stove. I have a copper plate on top of the burner to sort of spread the heat out so the uh, beaker heats evenly and doesn't overheat. Now, the mixture I usually use for making silicate would be about to 300 grams of the silica gel crystals and about 200 grams of uh, sodium hydroxide. 
So let's get to things started here. What I've done so far is got the stove warmed up and I've put 50 milliliters of water in the bottom of my beaker. Because my sodium hydroxide is already in liquid form, I don't need any more water than that. The next thing I'll do is I will add my silica gel crystals. A glass stirring rod out of the way. Okay, I've got my uh, silica gel crystals and 50 milliliters of water. Next thing I'm going to do is get on my safety glove so I can handle the sodium hydroxide solution safely. Okay, I've got safety gloves on so I can safely work with the sodium hydroxide solution, which I will now pour in here. That may not be quite enough, but I can add more later. Stir things up with the glass rod a bit. It's already starting to react. This will probably take a good 10 or 15 minutes, and I can turn the, the heat down. Yes, it is reacting. It's starting to uh, eat the crystals. And if it wants to boil over, just move it off the heat like I just did. Let my burner cool down. Okay, back on the heat. I'd say about hmm, half the crystals are uh, dissolved already and reacted into sodium silicate. It's getting much easier to stir this. If the reaction slows down and I still have unreacted silica gel, I'll add a wee bit more liquid sodium hydroxide until I see that all the silica gel has reacted. But because cat litter crystals are fairly big, you have to give the reaction time. I've never tried ball milling silica gel down finer. Uh, I get sodium silicate to uh, quite nicely using it just the way it comes as cat litter right out of its bin. Anyway, we'll let this react and I'll pick up the video when it's closer to being finished. I'm going to add a little more sodium hydroxide at about the five minute point here. Okay, and we'll stir that in, because I still have a little bit of unreacted silica gel. There, that seems to be helping. Oh, 
Okay, I'll pick up the video when it's further along. This batch of sodium silicate is ready. All of the silica gel is finely dissolved. And a good sign that it's a good batch is when you pull the stirring rod out, the drops don't want to come off easily. The stuff is so thick even when it's boiling. So this should be a perfect batch. I can turn off the heat. I'll let it cool down. And then I'm going to put it into this uh, glass jar. Here's the result. About uh, 350 milliliters roughly of uh, very thick syrupy sodium silicate solution in my glass jar. In a moment I'll show another glass jar that's cooled down so you can see how thick this stuff is at room temperature. Here's some I made earlier in a uh, maraschino cherry jar. I haven't bothered to take the label off yet. But, as you can see, when you turn it sideways, the stuff is uh, very viscous, very thick, and uh, slow to move. So this is a pretty good sodium silicate solution to uh, use as uh, refractory material. I've produced about a gallon of sodium silicate here, using the process shown. And I haven't even used uh, a quarter of the tub of cat litter yet, so a tub of cat litter will make a lot of uh, sodium silicate. And as a last pointer, sodium silicate itself is also fairly alkaline, so when you're handling it to avoid any potential skin irritation because of its alkalinity, you might want to uh, wear the gloves. No harm in uh, taking precautions. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope this uh, was of some use to you if you need to make sodium silicate for your forge or foundry's refractory needs. Please like and subscribe, and as always, there'll be more videos to come. Thank you.